This is a Core i7 MateBook 14 2020. Different with the previous tested i5 version, this is a silver color model. Of course, you can get both color for both i5 and i7. Under yellow light, it looks kind of gold finish. The ports are exactly the same as i5 models with two USB ports on the other side and one HDMI, one 3.5mm headphone jack, one Type-C at this side. You can find a silver finish at all the angles. As for the benchmarks, the i7 is slightly more powerful than i5 version in most aspects. The solid state drive is slightly more faster. The Sandy Bench R15 with CPU and GPU is also faster. The Core i7 has slightly higher clocks compared to i5, while everything else, including battery, RAM, GPU, monitor, and solid state drive, are exactly the same. Previously, we are not very clear on what solid state drive this is. This is the Toshiba XG6, which is one of the latest models from Toshiba. After 10 minutes of CPU stress test, we now take a look at the CPU output performance. The temperature is pretty decent. The total power for CPU is 15 watts. It's better than the i5 version, which has only 12 watts CPU envelope. After some rest, we start the CPU and GPU test. The GPU frequency now is around 1 GHz and CPU at high frequency. Let it be there for approximately 5 minutes and now the fan sound is very loud. The CPU now stabilizes around 1.9 GHz and GPU is still at maximum rate around 1.05 GHz. A summarized table is at the down right corner. The i7 version is more powerful in every aspect, 15% more pricier and only 5-10% more powerful. How do you think about it?